My children, the days are no longer 24 hours long, if not 16 hours. As events progress, the time will shorten until it reaches a maximum of 12 hours, at which point God's justice will commence. Look now, my children, because the time is short and many of you are still rejecting my son and disobeying our pleas for conversion. Little rebels, wake up from your sleep once and for all. For if you continue to sleep because of sin, you will perish forever. Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. A new day will dawn on us from above because our God is loving and merciful. May the Lord guide you along your way, and may the Lord bless you for the holy morning and the holy day. As children of God, we can find joy in every day, not because life is always so good, but because God is. Today, let us share with you some words from our Blessed Mother to humanity. When sharing this video with you, we hope that many more eyes will be opened to the current situation and will come to faith in Christ, because the divine calls from the Most Holy Trinity are obviously urgent and worthy of attention. I would like to humbly request that you continue spreading the words of our Blessed Mother over the world so that a greater number of people can hear it, turn to it, pursue the correct direction of faith, and then realize the real situation that we are currently experiencing in the time being. Here comes the message of our Blessed Mother. Together we listen to it and preserve the holiness of peace, which is beyond all insight and protects our heart, mind, and soul. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, the peace of my Lord be with you, and my motherly protection always assists you. Oh, what agony is befalling this helpless and suffering mankind as the world is poised to descend into anarchy. The vast majority of people have rejected our appeals for conversion. As a result, all the catastrophes predicted by the Holy Bible of God for these last times are going to break out and will catch them off guard. Many millions of people will perish at the hands of divine justice because they refused to accept his mercy. Armageddon has been organized by the minions of evil who control the fate of the world. Be ready, little ones, because my adversary is about to make his general statement and declare that he is the anticipated Messiah. He is eager to establish himself and begin his final reign. You already know, my people of God, that he is the false Messiah who comes to usurp my son and bring chaos and ruin into this earth, and that you cannot see him or hear him. Be on the lookout for the wolves, my little ones as they aim to devour the most souls possible in order to increase the number of their followers when their master reappears. What anguish I feel in the mother's heart as I observe how the vast majority of people would reject my son and look for the fake messiah out of lack of gratitude. He will be revered and followed by millions of individuals who will treat him like the same god. The greatest persecution against everything that is Christian will be unleashed by my adversary and his supporters. There will be bloodshed, and the people of God will be cleansed. The new church, which will be impoverished, straightforward, and full of the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit, will be launched with the blood of my Son shed by the martyrs. Little children, pray for the church of my son, since there are more and more scandals there every day. I can assure you that if that is not rectified, sanctioned, made up for, and the victims are not made whole, it will lead to a significant schism that will be the biggest in the church of my son's history when combined with the churchmen revolt. Millions of people will lose faith as a result of the impending schism and the resulting spiritual hecatomb will shake the church's foundations. But the church will not fall because of the strength of the devoted people of God's prayers and divine intervention. 
With the help of the rebellious prelates, my opponent will profit from the current state of spiritual instability and ascend to the position of Peter's throne. Children, the days are no longer 24 hours long, if not 16 hours. As events progress, the time will shorten until it reaches a maximum of 12 hours, at which point God's justice will commence. Look now, my children, because the time is short, and many of you are still rejecting my son and disobeying our pleas for conversion. Little rebels, wake up from your sleep once and for all, for if you continue to sleep because of sin, you will perish forever. As mercy's final bells ring, the warning is drawing more and nearer until it will take you off guard. Consider your options, disobedient kids. The time has passed. Why don't you turn back to God now? Run to get your finances in order for the schism is approaching, and if your faith is not based on God's word, many will be lost as a result of the crisis the church of my son will experience. The darkness will come very soon, and with it, the justice of God. Again, I tell you, little children, do not leave my rosary and ask for my holy intercession at all times, so that you can endure the days of tribulation that are approaching. May the love of God abide in you. May the peace of my Lord remain in you and my love and maternal protection accompany you always. Your mother loves you. Mary of Fatima Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. This is the end of today's video. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and to pray for the world. Stay blessed, keep praying, and spread the word about this video till we see each other again. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube so that you can quickly access the most recent, urgent calls and messages from above. We pray that God will keep bestowing His favors and blessings onto us. Remember that despite all of the obstacles, struggles, and sorrows that we face today in this world, Jesus is always with us.